Competition! Hey you YouTube, Dogrejection84 here and welcome to Q&A number 45. Oh yes, we're just five episodes away now from episode 50 of the Reboot series. It's crazy to think about. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few questions to get through, so let's kick this off. Um, first question is from Matt and Alison Welch. One, did you know that heroes actually do have an Xyz monster called Elemental Hero Pit Boss? Alison actually pointed out to me. Yes, I did know about that. Um, it's been a while since it was brought up, actually. Um, but, um, strangely enough, it doesn't seem to go in an Elemental Hero deck. It needs some level 6 monsters, and um, yeah, it's one of the match winners, and it requires um, a spell cost with an Xyz material to do it. Um, yeah, quite interesting. Two, out of all the monster energy drinks you have had over the years, which one was your absolute favourite? Without a doubt, that would be the Mango Loco one. Um, that's my favourite. Um, definitely the one I prefer over all the others, like even the original flavour. Um, this would be followed by the Monarch flavour and the Doctor flavour. They're really nice too. Um, but of course, as tasty as they are, um, I'm still trying and failing to give up drinking them. Um, I was off to a good start, but it proved to be harder than I thought it would. Um, and I'm still uh, trying to focus on substitutes like tea, coke zero, uh, glucosade and even sparkling water. Um, but it's been tough. Um, but I can at least proudly say that I'm not drinking as many as I used to. Um, so that's something I guess, but I need to try harder, get more willpower, and then eventually, um, if I do have um, fizzy drinks, try and go for the sugar-free stuff. Um, it's a long, difficult process, but hopefully I'll get there eventually. Um, Let's see, that's one that doesn't need answering. Um, and then there's three questions here from my gorgeous, amazing girlfriend, MST. Um, one, are there any Yu-Gi-Oh pranks you have ever done to your friends? Well, as a matter of fact, there is one, the Pot of Greed prank, where basically I made a 40 card deck with nothing but Pot of Greed um, and I used it against Seb back in 2008. Um, that got a few laughs. Um, but since that video was lost I actually reenacted it twice. Um, once in the reenactment of my uh, most memorable videos and then I did the prank again against uh, Webber's 5. Um, that was funny. Um, two, what's your biggest fear apart from flying on a plane? Um, it's hard to say really. Um, there's quite a few things I fear actually, um, as well as flying. Um, snakes, spiders, um, dying before my time, uh, and war, basically. Um, 
I don't know, it's really hard to say um, which one I fear the most. Um, but as I said before, um, I don't think I'm as afraid of snakes as my mum is. I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this some time ago, but um, she's so afraid of snakes that she can't even look at them. Whereas um, I can look at videos and pictures of them, I can look at them in zoos, um, as long as they're contained, um, then yeah, it's fine. Um, but I just don't want to be anywhere near one, I don't want to touch them. Um, but yeah, it's... I don't know, it's hard to say what, which one I fear the most. Um, I guess they're all equally as bad. Um, maybe I can give a proper answer in the future. Uh, three, have you ever cosplayed, and if so, who have you dressed up as? Um, I have actually, um, I, I cosplayed as Dark Magician for my 22nd birthday party, um, it was a pretty decent costume for what it was, um, and um, no, I also kind of dressed up as you say for London MCM in 2009 and uh, made a bad attempt to cosplay as Yugi um, at London MCM 2010 but I couldn't get the hair right um, yeah. uh, even my hair's not as big as Yugi's um, but I spray painted it yellow, of course. Um, you've probably seen pictures of it, even um, that picture where I held up a sign saying, You lost the game because I'm the king of games. Uh, and I also cosplayed as Superman for my 26th birthday party. Um, because why not? Um, and I've still got the costume hanging up on the door over there, but I've only worn it once, and uh, I really want to wear it again sometime. Um, problem is, there hasn't really, um, well, nothing's really happened that, um, has called for me to dress as him. Um, like, maybe if there's any future fancy dress parties, I'll definitely wear it again. Um, uh, next question is from John Cross, who put that as a reply to, uh, what I said in reply to the, uh, uh Emma's comment here. Um, if your opponent destroys Waking the Dragon by a card effect, can you summon four Odin and Loki? Um, now, uh, Yugo for Autism did already answer his question, but uh, I'm going to answer it anyway, because, well, it's part of the series. Um, yes, you can summon uh, four. Odin and Loki off Waking the Dragon. Um, of course, I don't think anyone's really looked into this, um, or attempted it really. Um, so, uh, while you can get these out, there is just one problem. If, if any of those three cards bite the dust, you can't bring them back from the graveyard because they weren't properly synchro summoned first. Um, it's the same ruling with Starlight Road and Stardust Dragon. Like if you summon it off, um, if you summon Stardust Dragon off Starlight Road and you tribute it to negate a card destroying effect, 
Stardust Dragon can't come back because it wasn't properly synchro summoned. Um, so yeah, do keep that in mind if you use that strategy. Although personally, I think there's um, better cards you can summon off Waking the Dragon. Don't get me wrong, the Nordic gods are really cool um, and awesome, but um, better cards to summon off Waking the Dragon would of course be Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, and Blackwing Full Armor Master. Um, those are my personal choices, because um, why not? I mean, Ultimate Falcons are Waking the Dragon staple. Blackwing Full Armor Master is, well, basically a weaker synchro version of Ultimate Falcon, whereas Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon has that targeting and destruction immunity. Um, but of course, I'd only be able to pop one card with its effect because I didn't fusion summon it and fusion summon it with. Uh, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dra uh, Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, sorry. Um, another card I thought about using with it, um, because I, why not, is uh, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Yeah, that's right, you can actually summon DP off Waking the Dragon. Um, but again, the only problem is, if DP gets destroyed, it can't come back through its effect because it wasn't fusion summoned properly. Um, but yeah, if I do um, decide to play in tournaments again, or more specifically uh, Pegasus Challenge tournament or some kind of fun non-meta tournament, then um, it's something I might consider doing myself. Uh, Next question is from Dragon Master SK, uh, someone who we've not heard from for a while. Um, I just recently started to venture in, venture in all the formats. I found out that most cards are not banned anymore, so I am trying to build an updated version. And to my surprise, they can be hit really hard. No, they can still hit really hard. Sorry, I have a. I have Teledad, and the only card I don't have is Raw Oppression, but I placed Vanity's Fiend, which is kind of better overall. So my question is, have you found decks like that in your collection, and do you still play them as back in the day? Um, I assume you mean decks that haven't been touched since an older format, um, but the answer is no, I haven't. Um, because, well, any decks that I have had um, over the years, whether I've kept them forever, put them away and brought them back, or rebuilt them or whatever, have always stayed up to date to uh, the current ban list, um, or current at the time of being used, I guess. Um, the only, uh, the closest thing um, I have uh, that fits the description of your question, uh, uh, so to speak, would be my Yugi, Jaden, Yusei, and Yuma character decks that have barely been touched. Um, but even then, they're not part of a collection. Uh, next three questions are from Webbers5. Odd Eyes is now officially ready for our showdown, so all I have to ask is 1. Do you want to make a video trailer to hype up our Odd Eyes vs Dark Magician showdown? Yeah, could do. Um, sounds like a fun idea. Um, I'll even uh, ask my brother to make a thumbnail for it and have uh, Dark Magician and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon on it. Um, provided, of course, you did decide to put Odd Eyes back in. Um, I think um, 
Uh, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did see you were sorting it out last week, and I did notice you had a secret about Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, um, and assumed that was part of the deck. Um, but, um, yeah, I can organise that at least. Um, I probably could make a trailer if I have the time this week. Um, and yeah, for those who don't know, um, my younger brother has been making some of the dual thumbnails for me. And the thumbnail for the 15 pack opening and the time travel adventure movie. So, uh, uh, big thanks to him for that. Um, two, at the time of you doing this Q&A, it'll be a tournament week. So does next week work for you for our showdown? Yes, it does. Um, and three, are you ready to swing into action? Yeah, I think I'm as ready as can be. Um, although I haven't yet tried out infinite impermanence in my Dark Magician deck. Um, I don't know if there'll be an opportunity to do it and see how it runs. Um, if not, I'll just keep it the way it is. Um, I mean, I'm fairly happy with the way it is at the moment. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be good enough. And the last question is from Yu-Gi-Oh! for Autism. What do you think of my new video? Uh, for the most part it's um, pretty nice. Um, although I think uh, the bit at the end is a bit too extreme and over the top. Um, yeah, and uh, that's it for questions in this episode. I'm, I'm just going to refresh it real quick to see if um, anything's been put in at the last minute. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Um, so yeah, that's it for questions in this episode. Thanks a lot for your guys' questions. Um, and if you've got any other questions you want to ask me, post them in the comments down below. And remember, I do these episodes every Tuesday afternoon or evening, UK time. So be sure to get your questions in before then, so that you don't miss out. Thanks again, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel.